All right, just what should your lead arm do as you swing the club back? Well, it's important, first of all, folks, to understand tension is a killer in golf. The arm has to be relaxed, all right? So that's one thing you need to know. When folks try to keep the arm too straight, sometimes there's a lot of tension that works up into the shoulder, really hurts the golf swing. So we're going to relax the arm a little bit, and we're going to lower the shoulder a touch. We'll keep the arm extended, but we won't straighten it and stiffen it, all right? Really important. As I swing the club back, you can see here, if I keep my arm too straight, I get really tense in the neck and the shoulder. It's even hard to set the club properly. We need to keep the arm relaxed so the arm can swing a little bit. Now the other big flaw I see is golfers will fold at the top trying to swing the club back further to hit the ball farther. So that golfer looks something like this, goes back and folds up. The club collapses. I call it kind of a breakdown in the structure of the backswing. Everything collapses, then it's a casting motion to try to get back to the ball. The arm really should maintain extension without tension. As I swing back, you'll see my arm will flex and bow a little bit, almost like a crescent moon. That's okay. You don't need to keep it dead straight, but you sure don't want to fold it. So as you swing back, try to maintain extension, but feel it nice and relaxed and soft. And if it has a little motion in it, that's all right. Next time you're practicing, take the tension out of your arm, but just make sure you don't have it collapse at the top and you'll hit better shots.